Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition. Today, we're installing an Airlift 1000 Universal Kit on a Jeep Wrangler. In a previous video, we covered how to determine if the Universal Kit is right for you and how to correctly measure your open coil spring. Now, we'll show you how to easily install this kit in less than two hours with only common mechanics tools. Remember, this overview doesn't replace your installation manual. Grab yours out of the box and let's get started. Raise the vehicle with a floor jack and support the frame with jack stands in order to fully extend the rear coil springs. For filming purposes, we're using a drive-on vehicle hoist. Prep the air spring for installation by removing the plastic cap and expelling the air by rolling it up toward the stem. Replace the cap in order to hold the flat shape. Fold the air spring into the shape of a hot dog bun so it will easily fit inside the fully extended coil spring. The airline for each spring will need to be routed through either the top or bottom spring seat. If there's not a hole or easy access to the existing hole, it may be necessary to drill or grind a hole through the top or bottom spring seat to create access to the stem of the air spring cylinder. Our Jeep Wrangler has an existing hole in the top spring seat, so we'll insert the flattened air spring into the coil spring at the lowest opening, with the step pointing upwards. Push the air spring up inside the rings of the coil by hand or with a blunt instrument such as a spoon-type tire iron. Remember to not use a sharp object or you'll risk puncturing the air spring. When it's completely within the coil, remove the cap and allow the air spring to return to its molded shape. According to the specific needs of your vehicle, insert any provided spacers either above or below the air spring. Before routing air lines to the air springs, note the available length and pick a convenient inflation valve drilling location. For T-line routing, you'll need to drill one hole. For dual line routing, you'll need to drill two. We'll use the bumper as our drilling location, but you could also use the license plate recess, wheel well flanges, or under the gas cap access door. Prepare the inflation valve by sliding the clamp over the airline. Then push the airline over the barbed section of the valve and clamp the airline onto the valve. Place a nut and star washer on the inflation valve and push it through the previously drilled hole. Use a rubber washer, flat washer, and nut to secure it in place. Then twist on the valve cap. Before cutting your airline, remember to never cut from the side. You'll leave a jagged edge and ruin the hose. Instead, use a hose cutter or a sharp razor blade to get a clean cut. When installing dual inflation valves, route the longest inflation valve to air spring path first. Secure the airline along the frame with the provided zip ties. Leave some slack and avoid sharp bends, edges, and heat sources. Once routed, measure an extra 12 inches, then cut the airline. Following the same guidelines, route, secure, and cut the second airline. When routing with a T, locate the desired T location and route both airlines to the T. Then route airline from the T to the inflation valve. Secure the airlines over the barbed section of the T with the provided clamps. According to your stem location, run airline through either the top or bottom of the coil spring. If a protector is provided in your kit, slip it over the airline. Slide the clamp onto the airline and push the airline over the air spring's barbed stem. Secure the airline with a clamp and position any protector so that it rests in place over the stem. Now raise the axle or lower the vehicle body until the air springs lightly touch the spring seats and or spacers. To make sure your airlift kit is airtight, inflate the system to 20 PSI and spray a soap solution on all connections and valves while checking for exiting air bubbles. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com and our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.